everyone welcome back to my channel and this is a tag video so thank you to Yana from the channel Tomalise for tagging me and this video is the most expensive perfumes or fragrances in my collection but with a stipulation that I have to have paid for them myself interesting video choice and it all started with George from the fragrance apprentice channel so he tagged Yana and then Yana has tagged me and hopefully there'll be some other videos that uh, are coming out soon so first of all I'm British and we are a bit stiff and stunted when it comes to talking about money but the costs the retail costs and the values of fragrances out there on the internet so I'm going to get over that and let you know what I've spent my hard-earned money on in my collection so let me just um, clarify in my fragrance collection are a lot of fragrances that are expensive but many of them have been gifts from Mr Smelly we were together three years and every birthday Christmas and sometimes Valentine's and sometimes for no reason at all he did gift me some really nice expensive perfumes so they won't be here because I didn't buy them so amongst those you've got some Tom Ford private blends there's a Creed all sorts of really nice perfumes but they were gifted so they are excluded from this video we'll start with the lowest one so the lowest price one and this is more about the uh, cost per meal as well and that is Francesca Bianchi The Lover's Tale. These I believe at the time I purchased retailed at 98 euros and that's a 30 ml bottle so not I, I don't think it's mega expensive I don't think that's too bad. This stuff look at the colour look at the richness of that liquid this fragrance is highly concentrated i think they are extract i believe they're at extract and parfum they behave like extract if not stronger one or two sprays is all you need and it really is so i think that's actually really good value i love the lover's tail it's a leather and iris combination that is so much more to it than that it's so smooth and sexual and musky and suede like with the most beautiful iris running through it so massive value for money in my opinion but yet yeah, 98 euros for 30 mils as you can see there's not that much left there but that's because i subsidized my spending by decanting usually if i buy a full bottle of perfume I will try and sell some off just to subsidise my spending because I never get through it all. So for me, I don't mind uh, having less in the bottle and spending less. So that's how I do it. So let's go to the next one. Shut up, Alexa. Who asked you to get involved? That's a bit random. Next one. This is actually my second bottle. This is Agonist, the Infidels. They're 50 ml bottles, a Swedish company. My very first bottle was purchased at the beginning of my niche journey. So we are going back, oh, I don't even know, four, five, six years. I can't remember how long I've been doing this, but it was one of my first ever niche purchases apart from 4160 Tuesdays, but it was my first ever in-store purchase. I was in Croatia. I was in, I think it was Zagreb. And there's a small perfume boutique that I found selling all niche fragrances. I bought a parfum to Nikolai there as well, but I bought this at full retail. At the time, I think it was more expensive than it is now. These now retail for around the 120 pound mark for the 50 mil and they only come in at 50 mil but at the time i think i paid more i think it might have been around 150 ish but they have come down in price since then and this second bottle i bought on ebay and it was a lot lot cheaper and i can't remember how much i'm gonna guess 50 to 70 pounds i probably paid for that 
I really like the Infidels. It still reminds me of that holiday, actually. I went on my own. I travelled around Croatia, hopped around different islands. It was so much fun and just came across this beautiful little perfume shop. The guy, while he had to look through his stock for something for me, settled me down in a cafe outside, bought me a coffee. It was just a really nice experience. And the Infidels is a powdery, citrusy, incense fragrance with some spices and pepper and vanilla. It's really, really complex. It reminds me of being in a head shop. You know, one of those shops that sell drugs, paraphernalia and incense and essential oils and tarot cards, all that kind of stuff. It smells like one of those shops and I love it. So that's that. And then we're going to go with very recent purchase, Bengal Rouge from Papillon Perfumery, £140 plus shipping. I got this directly from their website, 50 mils, worth every fucking penny. It is beautiful, rich, opulent. Now I've given a little bit away. I think I've decanted a couple of samples for friends, but I've not sold any decants from this bottle i've used quite a lot because i've only had it a few months and this one is it's a rich opulent amber there's some honey in the opening there's rose there's sandalwood a really spicy tonka and then when it dries down it's chocolatey powdery it's just absolutely beautiful i love to overspray this one even though it's really strong and the longevity is, I don't even know how long it goes on for because there's never been a time. It's its never been a time when my shower hasn't been the reason the fragrance has got washed away, if that makes sense. It just goes on and on and on. Okay, so my last two are both from Galan. I love Galan. I think Galan make beautiful high-end exclusive fragrances. They also make uh, beautiful fragrances in their classic line, but I've always been more into the like the Lat and Matière line and all the all the more expensive stuff, of course. What I think also is interesting is not just the price that you pay in money for a fragrance, but how much effort you go to to uh, to get that fragrance because sometimes you can't get a fragrance because it's exclusive to a particular store and they don't ship or it's exclusive to a particular city in the world that you're you can't get it from so I'd, I'd say that because the next one i'm talking about is iris ganache so iris ganache i chose this bee bottle uh the purple one it's called amethyst the color and that's it there this one i did decant quite a bit from and sell to sort of subsidize my spending again this i had to look up how much i spent because um i couldn't remember and at the time we're going back a few years it was 295 euros for 125 mils and with that you get this bottle and you also get an atomizer and you get a really lovely atomizer with Galans. And there's the atomizer there. So it's in a rich purple colour. It has Galan. It's a sort of, it's a kind of metal. I'm not sure if it's a magnetic. I don't think it's mag magnetic, but it's really nice quality fitting cap. And in here, you take that off and you pop your fragrance that needs topping up, pop it in there, and that unscrews. This is 295 euros, and not only was it the cost, I wouldn't normally spend that much on a fragrance, but I really wanted it. I got through two decants of it. The fragrance is only available in Paris. You have to go to, at the time there was only one store in Paris, I think it was Galan Place Vendôme. However, I think it's now in the Chon it's in both Champs Elysees and Place Vendôme. I could be wrong because sometimes they run out of stock and they don't have it. You can't order it, or I certainly couldn't. I did ring ring the stores and ask if they would ship it to me, 
and they refused. I think they will do it for their regular customers who spend fortunes in the store. They wouldn't do it for me, an unknown person to them. So what happened was there was a lot of talk on one of the fragrance groups. It's one of the Golan fragrance groups that was started by Monsieur Golan. If you are into Golan, you'll know who he is. And I ended up getting in contact with someone via the, fa the fragrance group, uh, a, a lovely young gentleman called Sam, who lived in Paris, and he offered to go to the store for me and then ship the fragrance to me. Obviously put a lot of trust in me and vice versa. And the fragrance arrived safe and sound, and I'm really, really happy to have it. So not only did it cost me money, but it also cost a little bit more effort and trust for me to receive iris ganache as I do now. Iris ganache is iris, you have white chocolate, there's a, a hint of something violety in there. It's very smooth, there's a little bit of cinnamon, it's, it's kind of rich and caramelly. It's really gorgeous, love it, so happy to have it. So that's that one. And then finally, my last one, I actually went to Paris myself to get this and so there another one not just costing me the money of the fragrance but the effort time and money to go to paris and i didn't just go to paris to buy this fragrance i love paris i wanted to go and sniff everything in all the perfume boutiques i had a lovely time but the main aim of the trip was to come back with a bottle of this is le plus beau de ma vie I used to have the 60ml bottle with the bulb atomizer and I really wanted a proper B bottle and they would then give me the official atomizer to go with it. I wanted that because the bulb atomizer is a bit crap and it's not that safe. You can't really leave the bulb in for risk of your perfume evaporating or going funny with the bulb in there. So I ended up get it and I wanted more anyway because I was very tight with my little 60ml bottle and so this was 345 euros so so that is my most expensive purchase 125 mils you get the again you choose your color bottle you choose this ribbon you can have some engraving mine says smurfy and you get given an empty atomizer for decanting into. So 345 euros. And this fragrance is absolutely stunning. It's very sweet. It's about as sweet as I want to go with a fragrance. There's sugared almonds, orange blossom. It's musky and clean, quite sugary. It's just beautiful. It's quite mass appealing but it's not exactly like the kind of fragrance you find on the shelves at Debenhams. It's just a little bit more special. I've received compliments wearing this. The longevity is stunning. There's a lot of uh, vanilla in here as well in the dry down. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Oh, so worth every penny as far as I'm concerned. I'm just gonna mention one more fragrance that I don't have. I actually purchased it for Mr. Smelly and this one was Creed Spice and Wood. So that fragrance, I think, sells for something like four or 500 pounds. It's the higher end of the Creeds in the beautiful bottles. But I got a deal on Facebook. There's a lady who is very well known and respected. You have to trust who you're buying perfumes from, especially if it's the higher end or the more the more risky the stuff that gets faked you have to be really careful but I've bought from a very very trusted fellow fragrance lover uh, second hand but mostly full bottle of Creed Spice and Wood and I got it for an amazing price I think it was about £150 but I knew that Dan loved it I really loved it I wish I owned it myself I really love Creed Spice and Wood it's got apple it's musky it's very it's woody it's just a bit special i think it's cinnamon in there 
but it's not rich and cloying. So it's nothing like amber nagwil or amber nagwil. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. It's nothing like that. It's not rich and heavy. It's got this lightness and this dis diffusiveness. So Dan has got that. I might ask him if I can borrow it because I really love it. But it is his. So, but that's one of my other more expensive purchases. So I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. I just have to tag some people. So I would like to tag Emmy Ever After. She is lovely. She talks about a lot of uh, probably more feminine leaning fragrances, but she also forays a little bit into niche and unisex. I love her. She's really sweet. Also, Beauty Meow, Kristen, if you have time, would love to see your video. I think it's going to be pretty special. <laughs> Agnes Eva, the lovely Agnes from Germany, would love to hear your dulcet tones describing your most expensive fragrances. Um, a delicious delights slash over cupcakes because I'd love it if Andrew would get involved as well as Arlene. And finally, Rise Frags, Ryan, love your videos, love your descriptions of fragrances. So I'd really like to see what you have. I will tag those channels below and I'll tag Yana from Tom Elise because she tagged me. So I will, I will um link her channel below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.